It's an age-old question. Is time travel possible? The simple answer is yes. In fact, you just traveled into the future about 10 seconds since starting to watch this video. Cool, huh? Of course, that's not the kind of time travel you're asking about, is it? Maybe you should be a bit more specific next time. So let's talk about the kind of time travel where you can leap several years forward or backward in time in the blink of an eye. Or a wink of an eye if you're a time-traveling gigolo. You dog. Well, a lot of people have been arguing that if time travel like this truly was possible, is possible, was possible, if time travel will be possible, you know, the past and present tense get kind of mixed up when discussing this subject. Whatever, if it is, was, will be possible, we'd have seen evidence of it by now, from time travelers of the future coming back and visiting us a la a DeLorean and a flux capacitor. We've not seen that at least not to any believable degree. Sure, there are those cool photos online that suggest time travel, like the hipster photo wearing clothing that supposedly wasn't available in the 1940s when the photo was taken, but that's been debunked. He dressed odd for the time, sure, but the clothes did exist. And really, when have hipsters ever dressed like the rest of society? There's the photo from around 1928 attached to a Charlie Chaplin film with a woman who looks like she's talking on a modern-day smartphone, but it has since been revealed to be a type of hearing aid of the era, which is a far cry from a modern-day smartphone, which is almost impossible to hear without putting it on speakerphone. A similar photo from 1943 showed a man supposedly carrying a mobile device, but experts concluded he was just rolling a cigarette. And if he truly was a time traveler, he would know cigarettes are bad for your health and probably would not have been doing that in the first place, despite doctors of the time claiming health benefits from cigarette smoking. Yeah, the past is weird. Or the future is. Probably both. There's also the story about how in New York City in 1951, a man wearing 19th century clothes was hit by a car. The man, Rudolph Fence, had supposedly disappeared without a trace in 1876. The items in his possession suggested that the man had traveled through time from 1876 to 1951 directly. Cool story, but then it should be a cool story, because it came from a science fiction book, A Voice from the Gallery, printed in 1953 by Ralph M. Holland, who himself had copied the tale from a short story by Jack Finney, I'm Scared, published in 1951. John Tidor made a name for himself in the early 2000s, claiming to be a time traveler and he had a lot of people convinced. But when he started predicting all the things that would soon happen, because he already knew about them, and those things didn't happen, well, that's just this side of being a false prophet, which would get you stoned in Old Testament times. Andrew Carlson was supposedly arrested in March 2003 for SEC violations for making 126 high-risk stock trades and being successful on each and every one of them. You only expect that kind of accuracy from D.C. politicians with names that rhyme with Pansy Nelosi. Andrew's explanation for being so accurate in his stock trading? He was a time traveler from 200 years in the future. He tried to convince authorities of this, even telling them that for a lesser sentence, he would divulge where Osama bin Laden was hiding and how to find the cure for AIDS. Turns out there is no record of this guy ever being arrested in any law enforcement or government agency, though much to the chagrin of Pansy Nelosi. This story actually came from the satirical newspaper Weekly World News, which, with the lax efforts of investigative journalism nowadays, would probably be seen as a hard news publication if it was still in business. Bat Boy is alive and real, you cannot convince me otherwise. There are other examples of supposed time travelers, but you get the idea. They never work out in the end. But maybe we've not found real time travelers simply because we're not looking in the right places. A group of physicists thought this might be the case, and they had an idea. They decided to scour the internet for signs that someone from the future had dropped time traveler hints online. One of the male physicists apparently figured time travel would primarily frequent naughty naughty websites. His results were not included for some reason. The rest of the physicists put on their fedoras, started up the greatest hits of John Williams for ambiance, and started digging online like digital archaeologists. Their strategy? To search for specific, easily identifiable keywords that no one before a certain date could possibly have known about, like looking for evidence of people referring to President Ronald Reagan before he ever got into politics. 
like what Marty McFly and Doc Brown discussed back in 1955, although the internet wasn't around back then, so that example doesn't really work for our scenario. A time traveler back then would have had to take out a newspaper ad or something. Hey, I'm not a physicist. Or a time traveler, so lay off. The physicists eventually settled on searching for the words Comet ISON, which was discovered in 2012. They wrote in their report, Histories of bright comets like Comet ISON are generally well kept by societies and journals around the world, indicating that Comet ISON might remain memorable well into the future. Physicists are obviously not known for their creative writing skills. So, in other words, what they were saying is, if someone from the future had slipped up and mentioned Comet ISON before the year 2012, that'd be a dead giveaway the person could be a time traveler. Yeah, but Comet ISON might remain memorable well into the future? I don't remember it. Do you? Maybe this is more a Mandela Effect story than a time traveler story? All I remember from 2012 is the Mayan calendar predicting the end of the world. They obviously weren't time travelers either because they were wrong. Back to our math nerds, though. They also searched the same time period online for Pope Francis before Jorge Mario Bergoglia, Bergoglio, 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 however you pronounce that. Hey, I'm not a Catholic or an Italian, so lay off. Anyway, Pope Francis was the name that guy took upon himself when he became the head of the Catholic Church. That name would not have been known in 2012, as the new pope didn't get popified until early 2013. So, armed with these keywords, they dove into the Internet's abyss. They scoured forums, blog posts, tweets, the deep dark corners of Reddit, the naughty naughty sites… What? Wait, sorry, we threw that physicist out, didn't we? Uh, anyway, the hours turned into days, and days turned into a frenzied blur of mouse clicks, carpal tunnel syndrome, and burned retinas. And what did our physicist friends find? <sighs> Absolutely nothing. Nada. Zilch. No mentions of Comet ISON or Pope Francis before their respective debut dates. So does this mean time travel isn't possible? Eh, not necessarily. Maybe time travelers are just really good at covering their tracks. Or perhaps searching the internet for evidence of time travel is about as effective as searching for Atlantis in your backyard. In their report, the scientists concluded, it may be physically impossible for us to find such information as that would violate some yet unknown law of physics, followed immediately by a collective sigh and a shoulder shrug. So we still don't have an answer about time travel. But with all of this research, we can certainly hope the physicists have some groundbreaking methods for dealing with internet trolls, and possibly an explanation as to why YouTube keeps changing things that didn't need changing. That goes for Facebook, too. If you're a time traveler and have the answer to these questions, I'd like to know. I'll take a couple of stock tips, too. <laughs>